Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new type of video today where we won't be covering Jurassic all that much because recently the Meg 2 trailer has just released and wow has it taken me by surprise, I'll be deadly honest. If you guys are unaware, a sequel to The Meg will be releasing in August of this year called The Meg 2 The Trench. And so we were eagerly anticipating its first ever trailer and the trailer actually looks like a lot of fun, a lot of credit to whoever was able to put it together. But Warner Brothers Pictures have gone ahead and released a very cool trailer for The Meg 2. Now before this trailer released, we actually covered some news on The Meg over on Twitter, where we actually got some information stating that dinosaur species will be appearing in The Meg 2. We weren't entirely sure about what this could entail, but if it was anything similar to the books, we presumed that maybe something like the Lyplurodon or Kronosaurus would be the dinosaur that people were talking about. However, little did we know that now according to the trailer, it was in fact a Tyrannosaurus Rex that people were talking about. And not just any Tyrannosaurus, but one that seems to be modelled after Rexy from Jurassic Park. So yeah, that's right, the trailer opens up with some sort of, uh, what's the name of this dragonfly, Maginura or something like that? It opens up with a prehistoric dragonfly that then gets eaten by a prehistoric lizard, who is then eaten by an even bigger prehistoric lizard, who is then eaten by an even bigger prehistoric lizard of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it's kind of showing off the food chain just that little bit. But our first showcase of the Tyrannosaurus Rex comes as it's stalking its prey on the beach, and it runs straight from the forest onto the beach. However, interestingly, it also runs straight into the water. Now what I've noticed is that some people are slightly confused about why this T-Rex ran into the water, However, if you look at every frame bit by bit, you can actually see the land-dwelling creatures that we saw earlier in the trailer are actually in the water, and this is explained later on and via another poster that was released in China, I think. But yes, the Tyrannosaurus Rex basically goes fishing and manages to get one of those creatures, where then the rest of the pack retreat back into the forest. But it's not over there. As the Tyrannosaurus Rex is enjoying its creature and devouring it, out comes a huge Megalodon just to ruin the day of the T-Rex. And that's it, the T-Rex is gone, submerged into water, and eaten. And as you can tell, it's very similar to what we saw in Jurassic World's final battle. The Indominus Rex was about to square up and take on the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Velociraptor, just for the Mosasaurus to leap out of the water and take out the Indominus Rex. The Megalodon did something in a very, very similar manner as to what we saw in Jurassic World. A pretty cool easter egg and nod to Jurassic World, which I really do enjoy actually. I, I thought that was quite cool and quite funny. But again, once we do take a look at the T-Rex, it's clearly modelled after Rexy, which again, I'm not too sure how Warner Brothers managed to do that. Maybe they bought the, uh, the model from Universal, or Universal was happy to lend the model just for this scene. Because from what we can expect and from what we can tell from the books, it seems like this sequence that we see in the trailer is pretty much it for dinosaurs. Which is slightly unfortunate because it seems like the opening sequence is just going to be a prehistoric flashback to the Meg and how the Meg was able to survive 65 million years ago and now survive in today's world. So we'll definitely get some cool cinematic shots of dinosaurs walking around this prehistoric earth. However, I wouldn't expect this to last more than 5 or 10 minutes and it probably will be... There's a police car outside. Please stop. Oh my god, there's like four police cars outside. There's a huge chase going on. Anyways... <laughs> So yeah, it seems like this is only going to be a prehistoric flashback to the Cretaceous period where the Tyrannosaurus Rex was a living and clearly obviously the Megalodon as well. Now, there are some questions to be asked here because how on earth did that Megalodon survive in those shallow waters is beyond me. <laughs> I'll be deadly honest. But again, this is one of the movies where you can just sit down, watch and enjoy shark action, I guess. Now, whether or not a T-Rex will appear later on in the movie is kind of untold because one of those creatures that he was eating at the start of the movie actually appear later on in the modern day world throughout this trailer, which pretty much proves that somehow these prehistoric dinosaurs, I don't want to say them dinosaurs, they look like some kind of sucus, but these sucuses, let's say, um, are somehow coming back to the modern day world. And through a poster that we can see in China, it seems like the Megalodon somehow is spawning those creatures from his mouth into the open waters. And that kind of explains why we get to see them later on on the mainland and in the modern day world. We also get to see some pack hunting from the Megalodon as well. We get to see three Megalodons pack hunting in this movie, and overall, I'm quite excited for it. I don't think I've watched the first movie, I think I probably watched it via clips on YouTube, I'll be honest. Um, so, just to get a better understanding of where this sequel is going to go, I will probably go ahead and watch the Meg. I mean, at the end of the day, there are dinosaurs in it. I'm excited, I love dinosaurs. 
But that's all I really wanted to cover today. It seems like the Meg is going to be full of deaths from what we can tell by the trailer. They kind of spoiled a few, which is slightly unfortunate, but hopefully them spoiling a few means that there's going to be a lot more in the, in the actual movie itself. But for me, I, I saw the dinosaurs, I had to make a video, and the trailer was just a lot of fun. We're not going to do a full trailer breakdown. Once we get more information about what these dinosaur species are, I'll be sure to cover that in another video as well later down the line, maybe this month or the month after. But if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a subscription. If you are new around here, we cover everything to do with Jurassic, plus some external dinosaur movie media as well. Feel free to also like the video if you enjoyed. But most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.